In this video, we'll examine how to use a 555 timer IC in by stable mode. This is also known as a flip-flop. Welcome to Electronics for Absolute Beginners. The circuit we will build is bi-stable, because it is stable in two states, stable high, or stable low. A flip-flop is a simple memory circuit that can store one bit of data. Flip-flops can be combined to create a register, which in turn can be used to store data, or the results of calculations in devices such as microcontrollers. The circuit needs two push buttons, S1, to switch the LED on, and S2, to switch the LED off. Pull-up resistors are used to ensure that pins 2 and 4 are held high when the corresponding switch is not pressed. In a 555 timer by stable circuit, there is no actual timing involved, in the sense of generating a precise time delay or pulse width. The circuit is designed to latch onto one of two stable states, based on the input signals applied to it. The output state of the circuit remains stable until a new input signal is applied, causing the circuit to flip to the other state. In this circuit, pin 2 is held high by a 10 kilo ohm pull-up resistor, and pin 4 is also held high by a 10 kilo ohm resistor. The circuit is initially in a reset state, with the output at pin 3 in the low state, and the LED is off. When S1 is pressed, pin 2 is pulled low to 0 volts, which triggers the IC and sets the output at pin 3 to the high state. This turns on the LED and latches the circuit in the set state, even after S1 is released. At this point, the circuit remains in the set state until S2 is pressed. When S2 is pressed, pin 4 is pulled low to 0 volts, which resets the IC and sets the output at pin 3 to the low state. This turns off the LED and latches the circuit in the reset state, even after S2 is released. At this point, the circuit remains in the reset state until S1 is pressed again. <laughs> 